Hello everybody, I'm Dan. Welcome to my Java tutorial series. This tutorial is on primitive numeric type promotion. I'm going to go and open up my website here, javacjava.com. Click on the begin button. <clears throat> Scroll down to my type promotion tutorial. And basically this primitive, num primitive numeric type promotion tutorial. When the arithmetic operators, which is addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, and modulus, modulus is also known as the remainder, are used in an expression, Java implements a feature called numeric promotion. Now you can mix or match any of the numeric primitive data types in an expression. This can cause a problem when it comes time to assign the resulting value of the expression to the target variable. Consider the following. I'm initializing two variables here, b equals 0 and a equals 6, and then I'm initializing an int data type variable i equal to 50. <laughs> Now, and then I'm doing a b equals a plus i. So we should be able to take this expression, uh, a which equals 6 and i equals 50. We know that the byte b will hold it there. Now, however, this statement will cause an error. Why? Well, basically, you see this i type right here. We learned from uh, my tutorial on automatic type conversions that you can't assign an int type to a byte type using the assignment operator without having a type casting there. Okay? So, um, basically in order to solve the problem, Java created a new set of rules for what's called type promotion. So the expression must be contained inside a pair of opening and closing parentheses. If any of the operands are typed double, then the result is promoted to double. Otherwise, if any of the operands are typed float, then the result is promoted to float. Otherwise, if any of the operands are typed long, then the result is promoted to long. Otherwise, if any or the op any or all the operands are type byte, short, char, int, then the result is promoted to int. <clears throat> so basically it works like this. You got your target variable of a particular data type, your assignment operator, then you have a cast of your target data type, right? That's from enclosing those parentheses right there. And then you have your expression enclosed in parentheses too with your operand plus your operand. Now, this could also be um, subtraction, multiplication, division, or um, modulus there. It doesn't matter. All the rules apply there. So, uh, how do we fix this? Basically, we come up here, and first thing we do is we go to the first rule here. The expression must be contained inside a pair of opening and closing parentheses. Okay, so we did that, right? Now, what happens is the operand A is promoted to... Um, type, which is a type byte, is promoted to int, right? And the i is already an int, so nothing happens there, but the result of the whole entire expression is promoted to int too as well. Now when I say the operand a, that doesn't actually change like the declaration to a data type up here of a, that doesn't change it to an int at all. Now all what goes on inside of this expression is, is just like a little temp, think of it as being temporary. Okay, so the, the result of this expression is a type int. Now, in order to, to put an int, uh, assign an int to a byte uh, variable, we have to typecast it to byte. Okay, so that's, that's pretty simple there. So the promotion rules apply to an expression that includes any of the arithmetic operators. The data types, the original value declarations are not changed. Promotion only applies to the operands and the result of the expression. Okay, let's come down here and Highlight some code, hit Control C to paste, or, select, or Control C to copy, or right click and select copy, because you don't want to watch me type that in for 10 minutes. And let's go to start, search, type in CMD. If you're running Windows 7 or earlier, you can go to start run, type in CMD, and then that'll pull up the Windows command prompt there. We're going to type in Java C and press enter. Java C is the Java compiler. And if you don't see all this stuff scroll by here, then and you do see something like an error, like Java C, unknown, whatever, then you don't have the Java development kit installed and configured properly for this. So go ahead and type in. Uh, then if that's the case, go ahead and um, go back to my installing Java development kit tutorial and follow the instructions there to get it installed and configured properly. We're going to type in CLS to clear the screen, then CD space backslash. CD is short for change directory. Backslash tells it to go to the root. Then we're going to type in makedir md for short and java. I already have that folder. If you didn't, it would go ahead and create it for you. And then we're going to do cd java. We're going to type in make directory type 
uh, promotion, CD type promotion, notepad type promotion dot java. Okay, type promotion dot java is our source code file name. We're going to go ahead and control V to paste this in, or you could right click and select paste. So what we have is we have our type promotion class declaration, then we have our our main method entry point right here, and everything inside the code block gets called when we invoke it using the Java command tool, command line tool. So what we've got first is we've got byte, we got, we're initializing byte b to two. Now, um, if we say b equals b times b, we're gonna get an error here. And let's go ahead and uncomment this line. Let's save it, and let's go ahead and do that. Java c type promotion.java. Oh, error. Incompatible types. Possible lossy conversion from int to byte. Okay, right? So what happens is any, any expression here using the arithmetic operators, bytes get automatically promoted to int. So the result of this expression here is an int, and then that's why it says we're losing, um, we're losing conversion from int to byte. So we say, oh, okay. Well, then how about we just go ahead and do a typecasting on that, right? Well, this is still going to produce an error because the expression b times b needs to be in parentheses. That's one of the rules here, but we're going to go ahead and <coughs> show you that anyway, right? See, we still get the same exact type pop or error, incompatible types, possible lossy from int to byte. This still got promoted here, but this casting here will still... It doesn't do any good without enclosing this whole entire thing in parentheses. So let's go ahead and save that. And now we'll compile it. And you can see it compiles just fine. So we're happy on, it's happy with the full syntax there, enclosing our expression in parentheses and doing the type casting will now allow us to, to basically complete that. Okay, and then we'll display that result to the console. So now we'll do some mixing and matching of various data types. So we've got short s equals 130, char c equals uppercase a, right? And this is a character little a. And then we will take um, s and we'll typecast that. Of course, that has to match the original data type declaration there type. And so we've got our expression of s divided by c. So 130 divided by the ASCII value. Remember, char is a numeric type, and the ASCII value of a is, if you've been watching, if you've been watching my tutorials, you ought to know now by it, that's the equivalent of decimal 65. So 130 divided by 65 is basically what this statement says. Okay, and that should result in 2. Float f, 2.25, i, 5. So float is the larger one here, technically. And so this whole entire expression will get uh, promoted to a float. We still have to put the float um, data type in here because that's what this is going, that's the initial data type of the F or the declaration of the variable F. So we should get seven and a quarter here. Now I'm just changing the value of S to 130. We can never redeclare it. I can't say short s equals you know 130. We just have to change its value, otherwise we get an error if we try to redeclare it. And then I'm initializing um, a variable l to 125. <clears throat> My expression here is um, 130 mod, mod mod for short, but it's 130 mod 125. So 130 divided by 125 leaves us a remainder of five, and we're doing a short type data type cast here to get it back into the s variable. So we should end up with five for the s there. On this last one here, I've got um, setting i, I'm changing its value. Remember it was declared and initialized up here. I'm changing its value to 25 and I'm initializing a variable of double data type d to 12.5. And then I'm, our expression here is i minus d, which is 25 minus 12.5 this will get promoted to a double type this expression and then we're type casting it back to an int here now remember casting can result in data loss and that's what we should see here so 12 point 25 minus 12.5 is this expression is going to return back 12.5 of a double data type and by casting it to an int type it's going to strip off that 0.5 because remember you can't fit any floating point uh, values into an int data type 
Okay, so we should end up with 12 right there. So let's go ahead and save this out. Strip that off. <clears throat> and we've got our resulting values here. Um, B times B, two times two is four, right? Our short 130 divided by 65, two, that works. 2.25 plus five, seven and a quarter. Um, 130 mod 125, which is 130 divided by 125, leaving a remainder of five, that works great. And then of course, here's our data loss right here. We took 25 minus 12.5. This expression result is 12.5 as well and then we converted it into an int which stripped off the 0.5 okay so let's go ahead and close out of that close out of that i'm just going to leave you with some final thoughts here so my tutorials on primitive numeric type conversions and primitive numeric type casting and this tutorial really all tie together it's very helpful to have a solid grasp of how conversion casting promotion and the arithmetic operators all correspond with each other now, if this tutorial made complete sense to you, then you are good to go. But if not, I would recommend reviewing all three tutorials to obtain a better understanding. That concludes this tutorial. Thanks for watching.